Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, we worship you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning. Oh, there's no like you. We give you praise, oh Lord God, for gift of life. We thank you for this opportunity to come into your presence. Oh, Father, to you alone be all the glory, honor, and adoration. We thank you, ancient of day, for sustaining us all through the night. Thank you for another opportunity to come in the place of prayer. Oh, Father, Lord, we lift up our holy hands this morning, and we say, Hallowed be your name. Oh, Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we worship you. We adore you this morning. For there is none like you, Father, Lord. Ancient of day, we have come again this morning. Oh, we have come to worship the King of Kings. We have worshiped, come to praise the Lord of Lord this morning. We have come to say, Lord, here we are, O oh Lord God. Father, Lord, here we are, Lord, this morning. We are asking for your mercy, Lord, this morning, that you will have mercy upon us, eh? that you will look down upon us with your mercy this morning. In the name of Jesus, that you will pour down your mercy upon us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, anything in our lives, individually, collectively, Lord, that will make you not to hear us this morning. Oh, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus eh, that you please have mercy upon us, eh, that we are sorry, that you will forgive us, oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Every sin of procrastination, every sin of indifference, eh? every sin of nonchalant attitude, do Lord God, towards your way, towards your will, towards even our fellow brethren. Lord, this morning we ask for mercy. Have mercy and forgive us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you wash us with your blood, O oh Lord God, your blood that cleanses, your blood that makes whole. Oh Lord, wash us with your blood this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh Father, Lord, we take authority over our environment, over this prayer platform, over the air this morning. In the name of Jesus, we stand, oh Lord God, with power, with authority. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? and we condemn eh, every activity that is not of you. Any power that may want to perform any stone this morning, every power of disturbance, every power of sleep, sleepiness. Father, we come against them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for spirit of alertness that will be alert, O Lord God, will be awake, O Lord God, and that you will speak to us uh, individually, collectively, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you are God that hears it, uh, and you will hear us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for as many that are on this prayer platform at this time. Thank you for our families. Thank you for as many that will join. Uh, thank you for as many that will listen, O Lord God, that you will give them understanding, that you will speak to us, O Lord God, differently, O Lord God, telling us the same thing, but in a different way, in a, in a way that each and every one of us will understand you, will hear you, and comprehend it, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Father, to you alone be all the glory, to you alone be all the honor and all the adoration this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you because, O Lord God, you are God that hears it. Thank you because, oh Lord God, you are trustworthy and you always help your own eh, and you will help us this morning. For this we praise you, Lord, this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you for being our strength and our fortress of salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, oh Lord, we worship you this morning. Oh, we hold you unto you, Lord, this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, oh Father, we worship you this morning. We thank you, we adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, thank you, King of glory. Thank you for deliverance that you will give unto us eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for healing that you will brought about, oh Lord God, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. And we pray this morning in the name of Jesus, eh? the Father, Lord, eh? let the habitation of evil planners, eh? let it be turned upside down eh? in the name of Jesus, in our lives, in our environment, oh Lord God, on this prayer platform. Father, Lord, eh? let the habitation of evil planners, eh? let it be turned upside down side down in the mighty name of jesus eh? in the mighty name of jesus eh? every evil holder eh? on our breakthroughs eh? as, as an individual oh father as a family 
as a ministry. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, eh, we break it this morning. Every evil hold to our breakthroughs. Eh, Lord, we break it. We shatter it to pieces this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, every anti-breakthrough strategy in our lives, in our homes, in our ministry, on this prayer platform. Father, in the name of Jesus, we paralyze this. Eh, every of the activity, we paralyze it this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, will there be any forces, oh Lord God, that is encamping against anyone uh, against and around us this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we scatter them. We scatter them uh, by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. We scatter them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, my Father, any power that wants to cage uh, or caging the glories uh, of our life, uh, the glories uh, of this ministry. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, let there be a release now by the power in the name of Jesus, let that be a release. Eh? Let that be a release now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you because we are successful. Because we meditate on your word. We applied your word eh, in our lives. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Lord, we thank you. Because you have elected us to be holy and to receive your love. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Eh? And in Christ Jesus, Lord, we are justified. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, will bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. That flesh, oh Lord God, will not reign, will not rule uh, in our lives, in our ministry, in the name of Jesus because we walk in the spirit. Uh, oh Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you because we have this one confidence uh, that you, God, uh, you have begun this good work uh, in us, in this ministry, in each of our lives uh, and you will continue. You will continue that work uh, until the day of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, Lord, we thank you because you you will lead us eh? as we walk closer to you. You will lead us. Eh? You will be with us eh? in the name of Jesus. So, Father Lord, we commit ourselves eh? and all that we do here this morning, we commit it into your hand eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you because, oh Lord God, you have made us to know the truth and the truth will set us free and is setting us free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Thank you, Father Lord. As we continue this morning, Lord, we ask eh? that you continue with us, eh? that you shine your light upon us, eh? that you open our hearts, oh Lord God, to comprehend your word eh? in the name of Jesus. Eh? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are moving forward. We are going higher. In the name of Jesus, we continue with our prayer as we listen to Psalm 94. Let us bring out our Bible. And let us ready to mark out any verse that will speak to us in the name of Jesus, Psalm 94. Psalm 94. The Lord is a God who avenges. O God who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth, pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They pour out arrogant words, all the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord, they oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner, they murder the fatherless. They say, the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones among the people, you fools. When will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that they are futile. Blessed is the one you discipline, Lord, the one you teach from your law. You grant them relief from days of trouble till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord had given me help, I would soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said, My foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. 
When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you? A throne that brings on misery by its decrees? The wicked band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress, and my God the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. Hallelujah. And the Lord bless the reading of his word. Yeah, we do not know who the author of this psalm is. But this psalm is letting us know that God will keep his people from severe punishment that await the wicked. Because God is holy and just. Hallelujah. This morning we want to look at the basis of real happiness. So I'm looking at verse 12 through 15 in this psalm. The basis of real happiness. The psalmist in this psalm made us to understand that blessed or happy, you know, in some verse you will see happy, and here he's saying blessed. If you look at that, the one who has been taught God's law. Say, blessed is the one you discipline, Lord. The one that you teach from your law. The one that God corrects. The most miserable children are those who have no rules and no correction. They may appear to be happy, but they feel insecure and they cry out for someone to take control of their lives. And even we adults, we are no different. We are no different from children. You see, sometimes God must discipline us as part of our spiritual training. And parents do the same when they discipline a child. And no child wants to be disciplined. They do not enjoy it. But it teaches them right from wrong. The Bible says that no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. But later on, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So when you feel God's hands of correction or rebuke, accept it as a proof of his love. Realize that God is urging you to follow his path instead of stubbornly going your own way. That is the basis of real happiness. The one that has been taught of God's law, that follows the law, the one that God corrects, These are the basis of real happiness. Because, you know, this psalm is, you know, talking about judgment, talking about, you know, the wicked and stuff like that. Because whether we like it or not, our God is a God of justice. It's a righteous God. So there will be justice against the wicked. But God is the one that does the justice. It's not our own personal revenge. That's what the psalm is talking about. And it's warning us, warning against being wicked. And it's encouraging us as God's people. And that is why our happiness is following truth with corrections, with God's correction. In the name of Jesus, it is my prayer this morning that as the Lord chastises, as the Lord corrects, that will follow through in that correction so that we'll be safer in this world, we'll be happier in this world. 
You know, when God corrects us, his people, it proves that God is in control of every issues of our life, of every circumstances of our life. And I pray this morning that God will be in every circumstances of our life in the name of Jesus, because that is the basis of real happiness. That is where our joy is. That is where our joy is full in his presence. Verse 14 of that verse says, For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never, never forsake his inheritance. We are his inheritance, and he will never for forsake us. Let's, let us hold on to these Bible verses. And the verse 15 says, Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. I pray that will be upright in heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Because on our own, we cannot do anything. Oh, Father, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you because, oh, Lord God, you are an amazing God. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you will never leave us, oh, Lord God. You will never abandon us, oh, Lord. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for reminding us this morning that it is only by your grace. Thank you, King of Glory, for being with us. Thank you for your faithfulness, even when we feel empty. Oh, Father, we love you this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you because you are amazing and your mercy endures forever. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning that you will help us, oh, Lord God, to be there, oh, Lord God, even when it's not deserving. Thank you, Father, Lord, for strength to love that you will grant unto us, just as you have loved us. Oh, Lord, we worship your holy name this morning. Oh, Father, Lord, you have been there for us. What if we have never found you? Lord, we thank you today. Because where would we be if not for your mercy? You have saved us from sin. You have saved us from ourselves. Father, we thank you for your strong hand that always guides us. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you for bringing us into your saving grace. Thank you for bringing us into your path, into your way. Oh, Father, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you will keep us on that path so that we will not veer away from you, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, help us in this new self that we have found in you, that we will not go back to our old ways. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because we will not walk according to our own heart, Lord, but we will walk according to your own heart that you have put inside of us, that you continue to guide us, that the Holy Spirit will continue to be our guide all the time. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Because you have brought us to such a great comfort and peace. Because we know that everything is in your hand. You are the sovereign God, oh, Lord God. Thank you, because you are the all-powerful God. That will not do things in our own strength, but in your own strength. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you that the continually we'll be hearing that your still small voice, oh Lord God. That will tell us to cast all our cares upon you, oh Lord God. That will take everything in your power, that will trust in you. That you will work all things, oh Lord God, you will work it out for our good because you are comfort. Oh, we thank you, Father Lord, this morning. We bless your holy name this morning, oh Lord God. Blessed be your holy name. 
In the name of Jesus, we sing hallelujah to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we are going to pray personally this morning. We are going to pray with some of the verses of the psalm. Psalm 1 say, O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belong. O oh God, to whom vengeance belong. Show thyself. Verse 2 say, lift up thyself. Church of the heart. Render a reward to the proud. Let us pray this morning. But Lord, arise and show your vengeance on my behalf against my proud and cruel enemies. In the name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that, O oh Lord, my Father, arise in your power and in your might. Show your vengeance on my behalf, on behalf of my family, against my proud and cruel enemies. In the name of Jesus. Verse 3 says, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Let us pray this morning that Father Lord, put an end to the enemy's triumph in and around my life, in and around my family, in and around my children's life. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, put an end to the enemy's triumph in and around my life, in and around my children, my husband, every member of my household life. In the name of Jesus, verse 4 say, how long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Lord, still the mouth of my enemies and put an end to their boastings in the name of Jesus. Tell to God this morning to seal their mouth. Every power boasting against my life, against my children, my husband, my family, my job, my ministry, Lord, seal their mouth this morning and put an end to their boastings in the name of Jesus. Verse 5 of that, I say, They break in pieces your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. Let's pray this morning. As the heritage of the Lord, my work shall not be broken in pieces in the name of Jesus because we are his heritage. So pray this morning. I, every member of my household, my family, we as the heritage of the Lord, our work shall not be broken in pieces in the name of Jesus. We shall not be afflicted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every member of my household, we shall not be afflicted in the name of Jesus. Verse say, they slay the widow and the stranger and mother the fatherless. Pray, Lord, this morning. Oh, Lord, terminate the mission of the slayer in my life and cripple the power of the murderer. In the name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that the Lord will terminate the mission of the slayer in my life and cripple the power of the murderer. It's not necessarily they will come with gun or, or, or machete or whatever and take away the life. The life can be murdered and still be alive. Pray, oh Lord, terminate the mission of the slayer in my life and cripple the power of the murderer. In the name of Jesus, in my household, in my family, Lord, terminate the mission of the slayer in our lives and cripple the power of the murderer. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7 say, Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. The Lord pray, Lord, prove to my enemies that your eyes behold their wickedness. In the name of Jesus, prove to them that you can see from above. You can see their wickedness. Because he will come, he will judge. He will judge the wicked. So let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, prove to my enemies 
that your eyes behold their wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning because you are a righteous God. Verse 16 of that verse say, who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Pray this morning, O oh Lord, rise up for me against evildoers and stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. Oh Lord, rise up for me. Rise up for my family. Rise up for every member of my household. Rise up for us against evildoers and stand up for us against the workers of iniquity. In the name of Jesus, oh Father Lord, rise up in your power and in your might. Rise up for us, O Lord God, against evildoers and stand up for us against the workers of iniquity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 17 says, Unless the Lord has been my help, my soul almost dwell in silence. Thank you, Father Lord, because you are our help and you will arise. For my help, O oh Lord. Arise for my help, O oh Lord. Arise for my children, for my husband, help, O oh Lord. Arise for my career, help, O oh Lord. Arise for my marriage, help, O oh Lord. Arise for my ministry, help, O oh Lord. Do not let my soul dwell in silence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise. Arise, O oh Lord God, this morning. In your power, in your might, arise, O oh Lord. Do not let our soul dwell in silence. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, Father. In the name of Jesus, arise. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you will arise, O oh Lord. You will arise in your power, in your might. For my help, for our help. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we, were, we have woken up early this morning. Because we seek your help. Because we need your help. So Father Lord, we are asking this morning. In the name of Jesus. That's as we have come to meet with you this morning, as we have come to lay down before you this morning. Lord, that you will arise, O oh Lord God. Arise for our help. Lord, we are all on this prayer platform at this time. Our needs are different. Our wants are different, O oh Lord God. Our challenges are different. The circumstances of our lives are different, O oh Lord God. So, Father, we cry out to you this morning. Arise for our help. Individually, collectively, arise for our help, O oh Lord God, this morning. Arise, O oh Lord God. Do not let our soul dwell in silence, Father Lord. Do not let our soul dwell in silence. You know, sometimes circumstances of life, you're just tired, you don't know what to do. You are just there, just looking that where, where God just do what you want to do. Cry out this morning. You know that situation. You know what that situation is. Tell it to him this morning that, oh, Lord, my father, arise for my help. Arise for my help this morning. Arise for my help anytime you are listening to this message. Arise for my help, Lord. Do not let my soul dwell in silence. Do not let the soul of any member of my household dwell in silence, Lord. Arise for my help. Tell him to arise for your help in that situation. That child that you are crying over, that child that is going his way. Oh, that vagabond child, that child that will not listen. Oh, that marriage that is not working. Tell God this morning, Lord, arise. Arise for the help of my children. Arise for the help of my wife. Arise for the help of my husband. Arise for the help of my marriage. Arise, Lord, this morning. 
Arise for my business, O Lord God. Arise for my career, for my job, O Lord God. Arise for my health, for this job that I'm looking for. Arise, O Lord God. Arise, Lord, this morning. I don't know what that situation is. But ask him to arise this morning. Somebody needs to pray this prayer this morning. That God, arise, Lord. Arise for my help, O Lord. Do not let my soul dwell in silence. I do not want to go into depression, Lord. Arise for my help. Arise for the help of my household, for the help of my family. Arise, Lord. I don't know why we are dwelling on this. Arise for help this morning. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know who this prayer is for this morning or any time they are listening to it. But Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you are, we will arise for our helper. You will arise for each individual helper and you will arise for the help of this fellow, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you will arise, Lord. You will help this person. You will help him and you will arise. You will help us, oh Lord God, in our individual lives, oh Lord God, in our individual circumstances and challenges. Lord, you will arise. You will arise for our help and you will not let our soul dwell in silence. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Verse 20 of that verse says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Which frame received by a law? Let us pray this morning. Lord, overthrow every throne of iniquity working against my life. In the name of Jesus, every throne of iniquity working against my life. Father, Lord, overthrow them this morning. In the name of Jesus, overthrow them, overthrow them, overthrow them. Overthrow every throne of iniquity that is working against my life. If you can know some of them, start calling them by name and saying, I dethrone you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I dethrone you, throne of iniquity, working against my life, working against my family, working against my children's life. This morning, in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, I overthrow you. I overthrow you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I overthrow you. I overthrow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 21 of that verse says, They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. And 22 says, But the Lord is my defense, and my God is a rock of my refuge. Hallelujah. Pray this morning. Father, Lord, Defend my soul from every evil gathering. In the name of Jesus, defend my soul, Lord. Defend my children's soul. Defend my husband's soul. Defend our souls this morning, oh Lord God. For everyone on this prayer platform at this time, for everyone that will be listening, Father, we cry unto you, Lord, this morning, that you will defend our souls from every evil gathering. In the name of Jesus, individually, collectively, as a family, Lord, defend our soul. Defend our soul from every evil gathering. In the name of Jesus, defend our soul, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, defend our soul, Lord. Verse 23 said, And they shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Let us pray this morning, Lord. Let the evil that my enemies have devised, let it turn out to be their own portion in the name of Jesus. Remember the word of God says, whosoever digs a hole will fall into it. Whosoever rolls a stone, it will roll back to them. So pray, Lord, this morning, that let the evil that my enemies have devised, let it turn out to be their own portion in the name of Jesus. Every owner of evil load must carry their own load in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning, Father Lord, cut off 
Every evil power working against my life, working against my home, working against my children's life, cut them off. Cut them off this morning. In your power, in your might, cut them off. Every evil power working against my life, working against my children's life, working against my household, working against my career, working against my ministry. Father, Lord, call them off this morning. Call them off in your power, in your might. Call them off this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, call them off, Father. Call them off. In the name of Jesus, call them off. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we worship you this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning for there's none like you. Because we know your word just made us to understand that in your own good time, in your own time, you will deal with the wicked. That you will bring upon them their own iniquity. That you will cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. That as we have read and learned from this psalm this morning, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, that you will help us to live a righteous life. That we will live in your way, in your truth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because that is the basis of real happiness. Real happiness is in knowing you, in serving you, in doing your, going your way, doing your things. Real happiness is in you, teaching us, guiding us, telling us, this is the way, my child, this is the way you go. My child, this is not right. This is not right. And we turning away from that wickedness, from that wrongdoings. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you that even more than we have brought out from this psalm, more than we have prayed, Lord, that you will answer us, that you will teach us by yourself, that you will enlighten our eyes, you will enlighten our mind in the mighty name of Jesus, because we know that you are a righteous God. And you will help us, O oh Lord God, to dwell, O oh Lord God, in the basis, O oh Lord God, of your love, of your word, of your tenant, O oh Lord God, that we might find real happiness in you, Father Lord, because that is the basis of real happiness. May our life be full of joy. May our life be full of peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, once again, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity, O oh Lord God, that you have given us to come into your presence. Thank you, Father Lord, for this new month. New, this new month of fruitfulness, this new month of perfection. This is the ninth month. Oh, Father, we thank you because you perfect everything concerning us in the name of Jesus. Thank you because our life will be fruitful, O oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, that the fruit of the Spirit will manifest in each of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for gifts of life, gifts of living, gift of another week, gift of a new day, a blessed day. And so, Father, Lord, even as we go, oh Lord God, into this new week, Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name in the name of Jesus, because, oh Lord God, in all our ways, in all our doings, Lord, you will give us fresh anointing daily. Fresh anointing every day to live the day you will grant unto us. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you will help us to discern your season and timing so that we may know your heartbeat, so that we may know what you are telling us. Oh, Father, this morning we pray that you will help us so that we know kingdom's deep revelation, so that we'll be a repairer in this world, this world that is full of chaos, that is full of wickedness. Lord, help us that we'll know your kingdom deep, 
deep revelation so that I may be a repairer, so that you may be a repairer, so that we all may be a repairer in this world, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning because you will give us the eyes and the spirit that we may know the things of the spirit in the name of Jesus, even as we go into this new week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will let your holy angels surround us. Let them surround us, surround us homes, surround our businesses, surround our places of work in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Father Lord, this morning, because you will release angels of prosperity on our behalf that will bring wealth unto us, wealth of your world, wealth of healing, wealth of good health, in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosperity is not just money alone. Good health is prosperity. The word of God is prosperity. Oh, Father, release your angels of prosperity on our behalf this morning, that they will bring wealth unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. In the name of Jesus, we call upon you, Lord, this morning, the captain of the host of heaven, that you will go with before us, oh, Lord God. Go before us in any battle, in any situation, in any circumstances that faces us, oh, Lord God. You will go before us with a drawn sword in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we ask that you speak to us with clarity. In the name of Jesus, as we go into this new week, as we begin this week, even right from this moment, Lord, we ask for clarity in the name of Jesus, that the Spirit of God will speak to us with clarity in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we worship you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. As we go into this new week, that you will create in us a clean heart, O Lord God, and a right spirit in the name of Jesus. And that our inner man will receive light from heaven in the name of Jesus. Let our inner man receive light from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, as we go into this week, we ask this morning that you will release into our life, divine sweetness of joy, of peace, and an infilling of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we go into this week, Lord, we put off every garment of heaviness and we put on the garment of praise in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, every day you give us life. It's a new life beginning. So, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus to cleanse our past, our past that is disturbing our presence. Let your blood cleanse everything in our past, oh, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a new us. So we plead the blood of Jesus over every of our past, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over every of our homes, every of our children, over every of our relationship, relationship with our husband, with our wife, with our children, with our co-worker, with our business companion. Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus over every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, as we walk into this week, we pray, Lord, that our feet are anointed by the power in the blood of Jesus, that will walk in your power and your might, that will be at the right place at the right time, that we will walk into our glory, into our breakthrough, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name. 
in the name of Jesus, that every blind eye will receive light in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray the blood of Jesus over our eyes, over our ears, over our mouths. Let our eyes, our ears, and mouth, uh, let it be used by you, God. Starting from this moment, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, this hour, this day, every day of this week, every day of this month, every day of this year, Father, Lord, let our eyes, our ears, our mouth, uh, let it be used by God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, every second, every minute, uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning because all heaviness, all depression, they will get away in any form that they are in our lives, in the life of every member of our family. In the name of Jesus. Oh, let us pray this morning that, Father, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to miss the call of God for my life. I refuse for my children. I refuse for my husband to miss the call of God for their lives. I refuse for every member of my household to miss the call of God for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you, Lord, because you have heard us this morning and you continue to hear us in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. That every spirit of slumber in our lives, we bind them in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hopelessness, every spirit of frustration in our lives, we bind them in the name of Jesus. Every form of us, diseases and infirmity in our bodies, Father, we bind them in the name of Jesus. As we go into this week, we have good health, O oh Lord God. We need good health to serve you, Father. Arise, Father Lord. Arise on our behalf. Quicken us by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the lines of the spirit, let them fall into us in good places so we can possess our possession. As we go into this week, in the name of Jesus, we possess our possession in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, you have placed us in a certain place, in a certain position. Also, Father, we pray this morning that we will not come down from where you have placed us. In the name of Jesus, that where you have placed us will fulfill purpose. We will touch life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning. Because we know that you have heard us and that you will answer us. Glory be to your name. Honor, adoration be to your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning we are interceding for church. We want to pray for the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us begin to thank God for the church of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God says, I will build my church and the gates of A's will not prevail over it. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, it is your church. It is no man's church. So, Father, we leave the body of Christ before the throne of grace this morning. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will form a border round and about the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pull down, we break, O oh Lord God, every demonic gatekeeper, O oh Lord God, in the body of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we are asking for fire of revival to fall upon us, the body of Christ, your churches all over the world. Let the fire of revival, let it fall upon your church in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray this morning that your redemption purpose 
for your people, O oh Lord God. Let it comfort now in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let it comfort in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we are praying for unity in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, let every barriers, every walls, oh Lord God, let them be broken down. Let there be unity in the body of Christ, oh Lord God. Unity of purpose, eh? unity in the world, oh Lord God. Eh? In the name of Jesus, let there be unity in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray that every spirit that is contrary to the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, eh? that is infiltrating into the body of Christ. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we com command this money in the name of Jesus, eh? that let them go away from us. In the name of Jesus, let them go away. Every culture that we have infiltrated into the body of Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, eh? everything that is contrary to the gospel of our Lord and Je Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, praying in the body of Christ. Oh, Father, we ask this morning that you put an end to it in the name of Jesus. Let your church worship you in truth and in spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, every cause of Egypt in the body of Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we break them this morning. We break them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray for your wisdom. We pray for your understanding. We pray, oh, Lord God, for your counsel and your fear that it will rest upon the body of Christ, upon your church, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, it is your church. You promise you will not let the gate of AIDS triumph over it. So, Father, Lord, we are asking this morning, in the name of Jesus, that your wisdom, your understanding, your counsel, and your fear, O oh Lord God, will rest upon your church, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. O oh, Father, Lord, we bring all the leaders, O oh Lord God, before you, in the body of Christ. Be it a pastor, be it an apostle, be it a prophet, be it a teacher, in whatever capacity, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father, we are asking this money in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, that you will break them down. Lord, that you will remove them eh, and you will fill them with your power, with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God. So they will be a vessel of honor unto you, O oh Lord, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill them, O oh Lord God. Renew their mind, renew their spirit, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us. Help us in the body of Christ to walk in your way, to walk in your truth, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we give you praise, O oh Lord God, as we lift the body of Christ before you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as you will look down upon the body of Christ with your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord, we plead, O oh Lord God. Your mercy, we plead, O oh Lord God. Because your church has gone away from your plan, for your purpose, for it, O oh Lord God. So, Father, we ask that you bring us back. Bring us back to the drawing board. Help us, Lord. Help your church, O oh Lord God, that your church will fulfill purpose, O oh Lord God, purpose in the life of your people, O oh Lord God, to deliver, to save, to heal in the name of Jesus, so that your church once again will be a place of refuge, O oh Lord God, where people run to and they find you, they find light, they find purpose, O oh Lord God. Not where they grow to and they get more hot. Oh, Father Lord, help your church, oh Lord God, this money. Help us, oh Lord God, this money. Revive your church, oh Lord God. Let your fire burn. Let your fire burn. Let fire of revival burn in the body of Christ, oh Lord God. Redeem the body of Christ, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning, for we know there's none like you. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name, O Lord God. We thank you because you have had us. We thank you because you have answered us, O Lord God. Glory be to your name. Honor, adoration be to your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord and our Savior. We worship you. We adore you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Thank you, righteous Father. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone.